I gotta change. <sighs> Perfect. What? Well, you you are an hour late. What? You were never gonna make it on time. This is the first day of school. I need my mommy. I'm not school. playing school without my mommy. <laughs> oh, I hate the first day of school. I'll just give her a hundred dollars. Oh, and a brand new iPhone. <laughs> Jessica's not gonna be Miss Johnson's favorite this year. Hi guys, it's Jordan, and today it is back to school season, baby. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, guys, comment down below. Do you like going back to school or not so much? I never really like going back to school, but I always love watching back to school videos. So I'm very excited for all of the back to school videos that are coming. And today we are gonna be talking about the 10 different types of people who are going back to school. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this video with the first one, and that is the excited one. This person is so excited to go back to school. Um, I can't really. I mean, some years I can, but um, oh my goodness, crazy. This person is so stoked. They get to see their friends again, and they're just so happy to be back in school and have that like routine and schedule, so. What? School! First day of school! Sure, I brush my toothies. First day school! First day school! Yeet! First day school! Okay, wait, I can't go like this. I gotta change. Perfect! Utah State! Go Aggies! First day school! First day school! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Person number two is the person who has been dreading it all summer. Oh, they do not want to go back to school and that's all that they've been focusing on all of summer. And so they're very sad that this day is finally here. <gasps> First day of school. I hate school. I hate the first day of school. Next up is the teacher's pet. Okay, guys, I know all of these are like exaggerated, but I thought this one was really funny. Um, this is how I would imagine the teacher's pet waking up on the first day of school and preparing to go to their classroom, preparing to become the teacher's pet and become the teacher's favorite. <laughs> um, let me know if this is true. I don't know, I thought it was kind of funny. Okay. It's the first day of school. I need to make sure I have everything I need for today. Okay. An apple for Miss Johnson, of course. I can't forget another gift for Miss Johnson. I have to be her favorite this year. Oh, I also, I stalked her Instagram and I know she really likes pizza. So of course, <laughs> I got our pizza gift card. I'm definitely gonna be the favorite. And in case she doesn't like the pizza place, I'll just give her $100 to treat herself. Oh, and a brand new iPhone. Oh, and I can't forget, she's really into photography, I, as she said on her Instagram. So I got her camera as well. Um, <laughs> Jessica's not gonna be Miss Johnson's favorite this year. Beat that, Jessica. Mom, did you get the flowers from Ms. Johnson? Next up, we have the aesthetic queen. So this person has their Pinterest boards ready. They have made their dream aesthetic for back to school. Um, and they're ready to kick off the school year with a bang. And they have stylish everything. They have very stylish back to school supplies, very stylish back to school new outfits and everything. But most importantly, everything has to fit their exact aesthetic. So whether that means like, like a minimal aesthetic or like surfer aesthetic or whatever, or even if it's just like their favorite color, <laughs> everything has to match. Otherwise, 
it's a no-go. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited for back to school. I just got done shopping and everything is so cute. Everything matches my aesthetics. I got crayons, pens, tape, lots of folders. They're all so cute. This is so me, glue, markers, scissors. There were some other cute things, but they didn't really match my aesthetics. So I just got these, but I am excited. Time to go to school. Number five is the nervous Nelly. This person is so scared for back to school. Okay, I have to admit that this was me going into middle school. I was so scared for the first day of school because in middle school, at least where I am, that's where you first started like switching teachers every day and you would have like multiple teachers in a day. And so it was so nerve wracking because not only was it a new school and it was big and I didn't know where anything was, but I also got a new locker and I, that I've never used before and so many new teachers that I have to memorize where all their classes are and make sure to get there on time. So I remember my first day in middle school, I was so scared and I was so nervous. I like had the map in front of my binder. I had like everything all laid out so that way there was no possible way it could go wrong. I played through every scenario in my head beforehand. Oh my goodness, going into middle school was nerve wracking. But after like the first day you realize maybe it's not that scary. Mom, are you gonna come in class with me? No, you'll be fine. You can go in by yourself. Um, Alright. Um, what's my locker combination? Well, we went over it several times. It's in your notebook. Remember, it's on the first page in your notebook. We practiced how you go, how you do it, so you should be able to get into your locker. You'll be okay. Don't worry. You don't stress about it. Uh, uh, what's look. my teacher's name? Well, okay, so remember, all your teachers are listed on that first page in your folder. You've got to go to Mrs. Larson's classroom first. I'm just so nervous. What if I have no friends in, them, in any of my classes? Okay, even if you don't have friends, you're going to make a friend in class. You'll be able to find somebody and just introduce yourself to them. It'll be okay. Don't worry. And plus, it'll just go by really fast and maybe you'll have a friend in your next class. Hey, um... Where's my classroom again? Okay, we went over this, remember? We walked it like 10 times. We walked yeah. to all of your classrooms. But It'll be fine, you'll you'll be able to find it. I, I need to make a map. But remember we put a map on the inside of your folder? I, I still have to make a map, just in case. Next up is the person who loves their mommy. <laughs> Um, okay, this person loves their mommy, but maybe a little too much to the point where they can't be separated from their mom to go to school. Typically, you see this in like, <laughs> like preschoolers, but <laughs> it'd be kind of funny to imagine an older kid doing this going to school and being like, no! <gasps> come on, come on! Almost Baby, there! Come on, I'm gonna win! No, it's time for school. Put your game away. We gotta go! No! You should be so excited for a school. Fifth grade, this is a new year. I wanna go to school. Teacher, let's go get your shoes on. Hurry, your backpack, brush your teeth. Come on, what are you doing? Come with me. I need my mommy. I I'm not going to school without my mommy. Jordan, I can't go to school with you. Come on, we do this every year. Come to school with me. No, get off. Come on, wait. don't do this again. You're a whole year older. Come on. I'm not going to school without my mommy. Let's go. Number seven is the sluffer or the s skipper. Or I don't really know. This person just skips school. They think the first day of school is pointless and so they never show up. Which honestly, I don't really blame them for because sometimes the first day of school really you don't do much and you kind of just like go for syllabus and everything. But I mean, sometimes it's nice because then you can like, I don't know, meet with your friends and everything. So I don't know. Um, I kind of understand where this person is coming from, but also, it's a freebie day. You basically do no work, so might as well go. <sighs> yeah, not happening, not today. First day of school, nothing happening. I'm skipping. 
Next, we have the prankster. This person spent all of their summer watching those prank videos of different pranks that they could do for back to school, and they've been preparing and crafting all these different pranks that they're going to use to prank their classmates and their teachers and everyone at school. Um, I actually, fun story, I had somebody in my class, senior year of high school, that was a prankster, and it was like the end of the year, and they had this like, like a soap bottle, and it was full, and then they just drank out of it. it turns out it was orange juice, but it looked like they were drinking soap, and I was like, what is going on? It was crazy. All right, guys, it's the first day of school. The kids are all downstairs in their bedrooms getting ready, and so I figured I would play some pranks on the kids. <laughs> so I've gathered up a whole bunch of their school supplies, as you can see here. And let me tell you what I'm gonna fill their backpack with, okay? So, I'm gonna give them red pens because I'm not gonna give them blue or black because red is typically what the teacher uses to correct, and this is the only color of pen that they're gonna have in their backpacks. Now, for their pencils, I'm actually gonna take the mechanical pencil here. I don't know if you can see this, the lead. And I'm gonna remove the lead <laughs> out of all their pencils. So all their mechanical pencils are not gonna have any lead in them and I'm gonna replace it with a monster pencil. So really this is the only thing that they can write with. <laughs> all right, now Elmer's glue. I don't know about you guys, but Elmer's glue looks a lot like milk. We're gonna go with 2% here because I think that will give us the the right consistency and I'm just gonna mix it together because once you get it all mixed in there it <laughs> it will look like here I gotta mix it up now it'll look like the glue in consistency but when it comes to actually utilizing it and using it it's not gonna work too well okay so now it looks full but it's full of milk so one part milk, two part glue. We're gonna see if anybody wants to borrow it. Now, when I was a kid, fun fact, there was a kid who used to eat this kind. Well, now it'll be healthy because they got milk. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them some, some uh, inspirational thoughts. So for example, good luck. I'm home relaxing. <gasps> Math is hard. <laughs> you will need a tutor. <gasps> I took your lunch money, and finally, you only have six more years. Good luck, kids. Have fun at school. Pranked ya. <laughs> the next person is the one who forgot that it was the first day of school. They forgot that it was back to school. Oh my goodness. Um, not gonna lie. Actually, have I ever done this? I don't know if I've ever done this. I was gonna say, I think I've done this before, but actually I don't know that I have. Yeah, this would just not be fun to wake up and realize that you're late on your first day of school. Oh, that would not be fun. Dude, get what? up. What? You, you are an hour late. What? You were never gonna make it on time. This is the first day of school and you were late. Get going, come on, go, go. Schooler. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, with this past year and everything, a lot of people have switched to online school and to homeschool, which has been a great option for a lot of people. And so um, a lot of people this next upcoming year are going to be continuing that and their first day of school is going to look a little something like this next scene. First day of school, easy when you do it from home. <sighs> I'm feeling hungry. Oh, uh, the kitchen's right over there. Alrighty, you guys. Those are my 10 different types of people going back to school on the first day of school. I hope you enjoyed watching all these different reactions. Comment down below which person are you. I honestly don't know which one I am. I think I'm a mix between like excited, but also the one who's been dreading it. <laughs> Cause I never really want to go, but always like the first day is a little bit fun. Cause you get to like 
use all of your new like school supplies and stuff and see people again so I don't know I'm kind of a mix of multiple people but comment down below and let me know who you are and also what grade you're going into <laughs> I'm in college Woo! oh my goodness yay <laughs> thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to give a big thumbs up subscribe and I'll see y'all next time bye